Hi, this is Dr. Bourbon. I'm here to talk to you today about high blood pressure. Uh, in the medical sense, this is hypertension. Uh, it basically means that um, the amount of fluid going through the uh, vascular system into the arteries and veins um, is, is increasing. The pressure is increasing. Now, the pressure can increase for a variety of different reasons. Uh, to me, it's a lot like having a garden hose. Um, when you're washing your car, you can just turn on the spigot and you can spray the hose and you can just have whatever the hose is. You can do your car. But there are some times when you want extra pressure and the answer to doing that is actually closing off the hole at the end and that will increase the pressure. So sometimes in the body where the body needs more pressure further out away from the heart and it does so by actually taking all the arteries and, and making the aperture, making the holes, making the lumen smaller, and then it increases the speed of the fluid going through. Now that's a normal body process. The body does that by a few different ways. It increases the what's called the stroke volume or the, the contraction of the muscle. It'll also do it by contracting the muscles around the arteries. Yeah, the arteries actually have muscles around them, and they'll actually constrict based on a stimuli that's going on. Now, adrenaline is a stimuli that will do that. Okay, it'll actually cause the heart to, to beat faster. As you well know, when you've had an adrenaline rush, you feel like your heart's beating on your chest. You also feel like sometimes you're, um, you'll have a lot of uh, energy to flow out to the hands and to the feet. Um, a lot of blood going off to those areas because it assumes that you have to do something which requires an activity. Running, at, running from a bear, uh, chasing, a, chasing down a child that runs traffic, uh, something that caused your adrenaline to increase and, you know, causing you need to run away or run for something. It, at that point, it shunts the, the blood away from the central body, the, where all the organs is, because it, it you don't need to digest when you're being, being chased by a bear. You don't really need to worry about liver detoxification when you're, when you're afraid for your life, running for your life. So that's the concept that we control blood pressure. So uh, the hard part is as we get older, the uh, arteries, start, the muscles in the arteries start actually getting a little stiff. That can happen from too much blood sugar flowing through them. Um, in general, age take, gets rid of a lot of elasticity within uh, joints but also within arteries. And so what you'll end up with is, is normally what will happen is when, you know, I always look back at cartoons. You ever, you know, the cartoons where they're, they, you know, you see Bugs Bunny turn on this big, and there's this big, big area of fluid. You can actually see it flowing through the hose and if you're getting ready to have it coming through. Now, obviously, that doesn't happen. But to a certain degree, that happens in the arteries because you put your hand over this area of your wrist you can feel the pulse. Now, the pulse is basically a bolus or a cluster of fluid, and it's pumped, pushing through the artery. And the artery is uh, pliable enough where it actually pushes, it goes through, and it, and it, and it increases, and it increases as it's going through. So it pushes your finger up. That's how you feel your pulse. If these arteries are stiff, that extra pressure has nowhere to go. So it's just pressure within the artery. And therefore, it puts a strain on the heart because the heart's not pumping and there's no give within the arteries. Now, from a holistic standpoint, you all know what, what the medical system does. The medical system is, is takes that garden hose and turns, off, turns down the spigot. That's the, that's the alternative. It's like, well, if there's too much pressure, the easy way to solve that is to turn down the spigot, which makes sense, except then at the end of the hose, you're sitting there going, you're having a hard time getting enough pressure to actually clean the car at all, right? And so the same thing happens in the human body. It's like, well, okay, you turn down the pressure with your ACE inhibitor, with your beta blocker, or you decrease the rate of the heart, the rate, the heart rate to put less strain on the heart, which probably in the long haul will we'll save the heart from, give it a couple of years from a heart attack. The challenge is you turn that down, now there's less oxygen going to different areas. Now things that are, that are oxygen dependent or blood dependent, now the hands are cold, 
Now there's, there's more impotence problems associated with that. Now there's um, t tiredness and fatigue, and you can't think as well because you're, you don't have much oxygen flowing to your brain. All these things come with the medical package. Well, I would tell you, nutritionally, what we try and do is help those muscles around the arteries relax a little better. You can do that with potassium, with calcium, with magnesium. The muscles in the arteries are similar to the muscles in the heart, which are also similar to the muscles throughout the body. So if you have a Charlie horse, I usually recommend increasing calcium, magnesium, and or potassium to try and alleviate twitches, cramps, those kind of things. So if those muscles in the arteries are squeezing down, you're going to have high blood pressure. If we can get them to relax, the blood pressure should go down. There's also a substance called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide actually stimulates the endothelium that stimulates the arteries to contract also. So if we can, we can alter the nitric oxide by giving arginine, the that will help. There's also some herbs. Uh, CoQ10 helps with the heart. Hawthorne berry helps with the heart. There's a variety of different natural substances that help. So I'm just telling you all this to try and help you. Because some people sit there and you just feel like, I have to take this medication, I have to take this medication. Obviously, you don't have to take the medication because, you know, people have been having this problem for years and have and been able to solve them. So I'm telling you right now that if you would like to, uh, go on my website, um, come in for an appointment, and we'll evaluate you. And we'll see if there's some way that we can lower your um, your blood pressure and see if there's a way to improve heart function. And um, I'm trying to think that's, that's probably all I have to say. Obviously, obesity will play a big role in, in blood pressure, too. So our website is www.berglundcenter.com. That's D-E-R-G-L-U-N-D center.com. Uh, our office phone number is 262-925-8600. And it's been my pleasure to come to you today. My name is Dr. Michael Berglund, and I wish you good, good health.